Celsius consequently deployed a team of researchers to cover both various sub-themes in a bid to produce a well-rounded report that will put the contentious issue in proper perspective for the teaming members of the general public and relevant stakeholders in Nigeria. The activities of the Nigeria Army in the Northeast Nigeria. The activities of the Nigeria Army have come under the security, the scrutiny of late with the news making the round how it is losing its soldiers daily to Boko Haram and Iswa terrorists. In the course of the research work, it was discovered that a couple of issues that were responsible for the negative reportage of the fight against terrorism in Northeast Nigeria. A team of researchers were able to identify the influx of foreign media organizations in Northeast Nigeria under various nomenclatures and mostly attached to the myriads of international NGOs supposedly carrying out humanitarian work in the region. It was identified that the high presence of these organizations had constituted, had constituted an encumbrance in the operation of the Nigerian army in the fight against terrorism. Despite the challenge posed by these media organizations, the Nigerian army had remained focused and determined to bring to an end the insurgency of Northeast Nigeria. It was discovered that the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukubu Ratai, routinely visits the troop unannounced for an on the spot assessment of the operational effectiveness, the troops, and to have first hand information of the issues on ground. It was also discovered that this routine visit is partly responsible for some of the successes recorded by the Nigerian Army as it has been identified as a moral booster for the troops. A team of researchers identified that during these such visits, the Chief of Army staff ensures that he relates with the soldier after being briefed by the commander in an attempt to ensure that there is no communication gap between the commanders and the troops in the battlefront. The Center for Social Justice, Equity and Transparency Center also recommends that a reporting template that would ensure objectivity be developed and given to the foreign media organizations operating in Northeast Nigeria in an attempt to curtail some of their excesses in their news reportage. The Center for Social Justice, Equity and Transparency Center wishes to charge the foreign media organizations operating in Northeast Nigeria to defend the unarmed civilian population in Nigeria by reporting facts, figures, as against the fiction and half-truths it has been reporting, which is in every sense despicable and inhuman. Sergius commends the Nigeria army and appreciates the fact that casualties is inevitable in warfare, but due to professionalism and training, the casualty figures have been significantly reduced as against the propaganda carried by foreign media organizations operating in the Northeast. So from our research we've done, it's, 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 it's worthy to know that the, the works of the non-governmental organizations in Northeast Nigeria is becoming all about monetary gains. It's all about what they can get from their foreign donors. So it has become business every day for them. So in such a way, they give negative reports about what is happening in Northeast Nigeria. When we gain successes at the battlefront, they never, they never report such news. When you interact with your friends that are outside the country, they make it look as if Nigeria totally is a war zone. Meanwhile, there, are relative, there is relative peace in most parts of Nigeria, apart from sprinkled parts of the Northeast. Apart from negative things being propelled about Nigeria, the foreign media organizations will also learn to propagate good news, the successes of the Nigerian army and the federal government in the fight against terrorism and ISWAP. Thank you very much. <laughs>